happening today, November 10th, 2019. Coming to you from the in-laws driveway, a place you're going to see me a lot in the uh, next couple months at least. Working on my dream boat here, 1991 42 foot fountain. This is going to be my second of many videos that are going to be like a vlog style, so bear with me. I'm not really used to talking to the camera, and uh, you want to see my face anyways. But, uh, I figured you guys might be interested in what I got going on here, and uh, maybe exactly how I came into this project. Uh, so I'll walk you through what I'm doing to it, really. It was a triple engine boat, and... Uh, cheap fuck, don't really have the cash anyways to buy it with all three engines everything running. And uh, I've kind of always liked the idea of having a twin engine cigarette boat, the bigger the better. And it always had to be a fountain because of the brand history and of course the beak on the front just catches my eye and I really like the design of this hull. It was around for uh, about 10 years to my knowledge before they put steps in the bottom of the hull 95 they started that but uh, really other than the steps in the bottom of the hull and some other little upgrades they haven't changed these much over the 30 years that this one's been around at least so uh, I can dig it still looks pretty modern to me there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing over the winter one thing of course or of which is going to be taking out this center transom for where the center third engine was put a nice plate over that and then just run two drives tied together uh, I'll get up in the engine compartment and show you these are the vents down inside I got all nice covers for those and uh, sitting on a really nice Myco trailer all aluminum nice tires so that should tow really nicely with that I think I gotta get a couple lights she hasn't really been used too much take a step up here you can see where some of the wrap I started taking off the wrap in places it's stubborn it really does not want to come off in places like this and then in other places like here where it was under the cover most of the time pulled right off no problem I got most of this in one piece I get the seat covered from where I'm walking in big sun pad a little dirty this hasn't been cleaned yet obviously it's a work in progress so keep that in mind but what is here is actually pretty solid you know these aren't that hard they're pretty soft and there's not that many cracks in them so really, once I get this cleaned up, it should be okay. The worst spot will be up here on top. See some magic erasers might make that look a lot better. Uh, so here I am. This is where I left you yesterday's video. Power washing this. And what you can see here is a finished product. Kind of getting there. Halfway to just the starting. And then this is what I begin with. It used to be this, you can just barely see it, I don't know if the camera will show it, in places like here where it was protected under either the cover or wasn't, you know, directly facing the sunlight. It was a metallic gray wrap and it sat in the Arizona desert uncovered for a while and it, the sun and the high temperature just baked it. So it looks like crap. It's all got to come off. And it is taking forever, but the end product is going to be a beautiful white. That's slippery. All right, where did I leave you? I'm slipping on my ass here. Uh, what'll be the finished product is nice white gel coat. It's been protected under the wrap. So what is actually there after I wet sand and buff it and then wax it should look like a beautiful white, brand new white boat. It's just gonna take me a while to get there. So uh, I figured I'd try a little bit of power washing today. And I uh, slipped on my ass here earlier because this is, uh, I got it sprayed down with Goo Gone already. The adhesive, you can feel it, it's definitely sticky. 
So I spray it with some Goo Gone, scrape it with just a nylon brush to get it a little loose, get it down in there better. And then uh, you'll see how it comes off, not too bad. Some areas here you can see what I've already done. So it's going to be a while. It's really a never ending project. Anybody that owns a boat will tell you it's uh, pretty much just like a labor of love. And you don't do it for money. Do it because you love it, and I absolutely love this haul, especially when you get down and look at it just in the right These lines on the front. It just looks so cool to me. So I'm pretty pumped to get it going. Shopping for engines right now. I need two engines to put in the back and two drives. Plug the center hole in the transom, and uh, it's really ready to go, other than cosmetic stuff. So, not too bad, really. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I continue to work on it. But uh, we're getting pretty cold now. There's going to be a lot of snow around here. i got to cover it up, keep it protected. And uh, all my work progress is going to come to a halt. So, last nice days now. i got to take advantage of it and get as much done as I can. Alright, back at it again. Non-stop action. Pick a spot doesn't matter. You tell me why some spots clean off so much easier than other spots. I can't figure it out. This spot barely comes off. And then if I come over here, this really blasts right off. I did one inch wide by six inches long. This boat is eight six wide, 42 feet long. You tell me how long that takes. Man, it's forever. So this spot I've already sprayed with a little goo gone and let it sit for a while. This is the adhesive. How long can you watch this for? Luckily for you, you don't have to do it. Those spots just do not come off. 